welcome to today's tip. Now I've just got a bit of Distress Oxide on my brayer and I'm just going to roll it onto my circular gel plate. You could use any gel plate you wanted, it doesn't have to be circular, it's just the one that I've got. Don't put too much ink on, the Distress Oxides are really, really juicy so you don't want to overdo it. Just going to use my bone folder here just to create some lovely lines, cleaning it in between. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the teeth because we're going to do a complete print one here. I'm going to cut the teeth out of a little bit of um, foam tape that's going to act as a printing tool. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut some triangles out of here, like so. And you will end up with not only the eyes, but you will also end up with a cool, funky mouth to go on your pumpkin. So pull out the triangles. They're going to be for your eyes. And then you will be left with a mouth. What I have done is I've actually cut out the other side as well. So it's just jagged. I'll show you what I mean, because I've put one on a block already for you here. So here's what you'll end up with, and then you can move it because the foam tape's so easy to move. You can adjust your faces, you can turn your triangles upside down or whatever you want to do. It's, it's down to you. And then I'm just going to cut that little bit off there. And then what you can do is you can press it into your gel plate, making sure we get it up the right way. push it in and that will just suck a little bit of that ink off. And then let's get our piece of cardstock here. Mine's not cardstock, it's just a bit thicker than paper. And there we have our pumpkin. You can see the lines going down the side and my gel plate was a little bit dirty. But there he is, isn't he fab? Now with this one, I just cut out the bottom here going along the bottom and I've added a um, same thing again just using the sticky tape, um, foam tape and sticking it on and cutting them out for the top of my pumpkin. I hope you've enjoyed this tip and I look forward to seeing you next time.